Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to be taking a look at an oldie but goodie, Twilert. T-W-I-L-E-R-T. Twilert is an advanced, what I call an advanced, Twitter search alert system. Its basic function is, you put in your queries and geolocation, and if those queries are met in that area, it'll send you an alert for whatever you specified in that query. It also has some pretty nice features in addition to the query system. So let's take a look at Twilert. Over here on the Twilert website, twilert.com, we're going to uh, log in. I signed up for the demo. It will connect to a Twitter account. You have to be verified now these days with the Twitter's API regulations. Uh, so you do have to set up an account, whether it is your account or the company's account, that's up to you. As you can see here on this page, we're looking at two of my test uh, Twilerts I've set up. Now, we're looking at the Terrorism Geo uh, London. One of the things that uh, Twilert does, it gives you a history of all the things that have matched your query. And it stores them for you so you can come back to them at a later date. Let's say that you're not, you're missing it. So for this popular, I put in uh, hashtag terrorism and the geocode around the uh, London metro area. So uh, a lot of people are talking about terrorism right now. And so I thought that would be a good case study to take a look at. So with the history, I can go back and I can type in uh, let's just search for, um, uh, we can, don't even have to do a hashtag. We can do a hashtag, but let's do Petersburg. And then we just hit the filter. And so all these tweets are the latest tweets related, uh, that have the, um, name Petersburg in them, right? And I can even do it through a date. Now I've only done this for a day, so that would be not something that we can run right now, but it does have that ability. Once you're done with the filters, you just click filters and then you're back to your whole history. So far, it's 386 tweets. I do have it set up for real time and we'll get in that uh, in just a few seconds here as we take a look at how to create a Twilert. Some other features are an RSS. So you can do an RSS or a JSON or an Atom, Atom RSS. Um, you can also pause it you can edit it, so let's say if you want to update the geo area, you can do that as well, and you can also delete it. Let's create a new Twilert. To get you started, they have all of these buckets down here that you can add. So they have filtered by words, filtered by user, filtered by location, and miscellaneous. Now miscellaneous includes sentiment. Uh, you can also exclude retweets, which is a nice feature and you can uh, just do links and verified accounts only. So let's get started. Let's do, um, well, today is opening day for baseball. Let's do exact phrase, um, Red Sox. Uh, we could also filter by mentioning a user. So in this case, I might do uh, Fenway Park or Boston Red Sox. Uh, but I'm just gonna do area on a map to show you this feature. I'm gonna type in uh, Fenway Park. There's Fenway. Zoom, zoom, zoom. You can see it right here. So I can just draw a circle. I'm trying to do it right over the park but you get the idea, you know, uh, probably something like that would probably be good. And you click save location. Okay, so the geocode is in there. So we have uh, already we have uh, 200 uh, potential results. Uh, let's exclude retweets. And then we click next. Now it wants to know uh, what you want to name this Twilert. So we'll just name it Red Sox. And when should you get these emails? Uh, real time, hourly, daily, or weekly? 
I'm going to say real time just for this demonstration. You can do HTML or plain text. If you need to send it to more people, you can do that too. Once you're done with creating your toilet, you click finish. You'll get a little uh, green check mark here. It says it was successfully created and it's been recorded. And it takes about five minutes, three to five minutes, I find, uh, to when you first start getting your toilets into your email. And if we do go over to my email, we'll see that we now have our first results coming in. So one of the things you can do from here is set up an if this then that system uh, to get an alert, a notification, an auditory thing. You can probably do that through your phone as well. Uh, just get some type of signal that you know this person or this uh, hashtag or this phrase was mentioned in this location and you need to know about it. Uh, this is one of the tools I think that you're gonna use if you're on the go for the security professional at an event, at a conference, that type of thing. You're stationary for a little while because you're never gonna get real time with tweets, but it's close enough that if, you, if there's an issue you, and you need time to move, you'll have it. So go check out Twilert. Let me know what you think. Post in the comments below. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. I appreciate it and share with your colleagues and friends. And I'll see you in the next video.